Hey guys, Ping here. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, how to model this. So basically, it's, it's um, like a, fa a facade of a building facade with all the blades, and then you can change the angle of these blades, and you, know, you can change this angle of these blades, and uh, also. Um, you can change the size of them. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, let me close this. Okay, so um, I'm going to do it as a so first. First, we need to create a the profile or actually the blade itself. So, just create a new generic model adap adaptive. So, and place two points and make adaptive, and then create line and reference line. So now, place a point, draw on face, just pick on here anywhere, just on this reference line, and then. So we we will need to place the rest of points use uh place on place on work plane. So set tab and place it here, and then this move here, and then place another one, set oops, just move here. So and I'm going to I'll just show you so quickly. So the blade shape will be something like this. So okay, I'll make it a uh, parametric. So we will need so one point, two point, three, four, five, six. Okay, and also we will need one point here and here to uh, control these points. Okay, so let's continue. To Play the point. So draw a work plan. Set tab tab. Click and then this one go up. And then draw the plate. Another one. This one go down. And then draw a work plan. Tab place. Okay. Here. Oops, here point tab over here. So the last one over here. So now we need uh, some parameters. So, so first, this will be the uh, uh, I'll set the height first. So the the depths of this place, so the so so this set offset, I'll create a par uh, parameter. Let's call it half depths, half depths HD, okay HD. And the type is fine type, okay. So now this one will be negative half depths. So I'll create. HD negative and OK and OK. So if I go to family types, HDN equals negative half depth. Apply and OK. So now if, if I change this, we'll see. Yeah. And then we will create these ones. So this will be the uh, the width on the um, side. So I'll call it uh, W1. So which this one will be half HW1. Okay, and okay. Same, this one will be HW1. And then this one will be negative HW1. So which will create HW1 negative. And okay, and okay. Then this one will be HW1 negative. So now if I
um, sorry, um, just had a chat with my wife. Okay, so where am I? H. So this will be H W half with one and negative will equals negative H W one. Right. So okay. So now we need uh, this one. So this one will be W two. So create new one H W two. Okay. Oh sorry H W two. And okay and okay. So this one will be new H W two negative. And okay okay. So go family type H W two negative equals H W two negative okay so now we have this um, we just se select these points and create reference line Qu oh, sorry create spline and then ch then check the reference line spline reference line oops this one this one spline reference line so now we have this shape so this will be the uh, profile of the blade then it, if you want to change the size or oh, actually this these are all half so half dimension so um, what I'm going to do is create three so it will be depth day uh, w1 and w2 and also here so half day depth equals depth divided by two half w1 divided w1 divided by two W2 divided by 2. So um, I don't want to see these in this dimension category, so I'm just going to edit and change the put them on to uh, on the other. So okay, so so you can type O, so you can just quickly change the category so okay so done so now let's try this so depth maybe 500 with one I'll say 100 with two 200 apply uh, maybe 900 something maybe uh, 150 and 75 okay so now we have this profile but we will need. I think we will need two one at this end and the other one, uh, another one at this end. So select these, select these, and then filter. Uncheck the reference line. And okay. So in CC, and then select the middle one. So this one will be the the host point of all the other rest. So pick new host and pick on this reference line. And then so this one go to this end, which will be one. And the other one. So let, let me just create uh, this uh, reference lines first. So spline reference line, spline reference line, and spline reference line. So now this one will go to zero. So now we have two reference uh, profile uh, profiles, and select the path create form so this will be the, the blade okay now we have this one so go uh, I'll create a you can do a mess messing uh, concept to mess, mess or can just do a, a project and then model in place mass okay so and uh, I'll just do very simple flat one okay so draw a reference line and create form so this will create place uh, create this face and then um, click on this face divide surface and now you can change it maybe um, I'll just use fixed distance maybe 1200 or oh, is that right I'll change this to one yeah so this is um, 1200 spacing so 
maybe I'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it, and then go back to this blade and load into the project. And uh, now I can place. So no cancel. We need to check this node first. So now we can place component and place it so from top to bottom. So now if you click the plate, so so that's it. Um, you can't. You can change the source here. So if you see, it's still uh, repeat with the repeater. So you can click on that edit type. So you can change all the type parameters here. So like for example, you can change the size. So 600 something, 100. Right. But um, you won't be able to change any uh, instant parameter. So actually, I haven't created the in, uh, angle. So let's go back into this blade family. So if I click this, uh, I'll temporarily hide this uh, adaptive point HH. So this will be the host point of this profile. So this one, there will be a rotation angle. So let's create a, um, a, a, let me just call it A. Okay, so instance and OK and OK. And that's, we have another one here. So H, this is adapt point HH. And then this will be the host point. I'll just associate with the A parameter. And then you can load this into into this so yeah sometimes when you load a family into the messing those like just disappear it, it's, it's okay so you can just oh you can't, i can't even it's not even nice see that the um the finished mess is gone so if if you have this issue just for just save click on save and then go back. Now, see, it's there. So now let's. Um, so this one. So if you tab select, so you will see that angular uh, parameter here. But if you change it, it will change all of them. So let me try 45. See. So what you can do is remove repeater, and then you can select individual blade. So. And you can uh, change them so something like that so even 90 degree uh, that's what's the width of this uh, let's let me just have a look so di yeah that's 12 meter and this is oh, okay yeah that's 600 so maybe I'll edit type and change that to 1200 and then I can close it. Okay. So, and then you finish messing. And then that's some you, some you can you can just uh make this in uh into a like a, a facade for a whole building. So you can you can have um hang on, you can do you can edit in place. So because I have only one. In this U grid, so if you if you have a like tall building there, so you can um, you can divide divide them into a so maybe fixed distance every three meter or something like that. And then maybe start from beginning or end. Let me try so yeah, and then you can also uh, if adjust this shape so it go up. See. And then, um, because I removed the repeater, so you might need to um, redo. Um, I'll just maybe just leave the um, so CS, no, not CS. So create another one, maybe uh, here. Okay, so and then let me try repeat. So see, also repeat here. So uh, maybe I'll just delete this, delete this. Not a reference line filter, reference line, and delete them. 
delete. So now, so once um, once it's all like uh, you uh, the the facade, the shape, the height, it's all uh, dissolved. Then you can you can just re uh, re remove remove the repeater. So and then you can adjust the them individually. Right. And of course you can you, you in because this is a model in place messing, I don't think you will be able to use Dynamo to control them. But if it's a conceptual mess, you can even use Dynamo to like uh, put in some random angle for them. So okay, so that's that's it for today. Um, if you have any question or if you have more uh, better idea, just let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.